Welcome to the WBC Arena. They've been talking the talk. It's now time to walk the walk. I'm Todd Grisha. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Introducing first, it's Katie Taylor. She's 165 centimeters tall with a reach of 168. And she'll be facing tonight Natasha Jonas, Miss GB, who's five foot eight inches tall and has a 65 inch reach. You have two fighters. One of them has a height, can pepper you with that jab, set you up for that long counter shot. The other has to get in close and personal, stick to your chest, make you work at a pace you don't want to work at. Doing it that way, you're working at their kind of fight. Introducing first, it's Katie Taylor, one of the best to ever do it, fighting out of Ireland. Miss GB, Natasha Jonas. She fights out of Liverpool, UK, and won the WBO Junior Middleweight title in February of 2022. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. Looks like we're ready to go here. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Bray, Ireland. She became the eighth boxer in history to hold all four world titles, a two-division world champion, and an undisputed women's lightweight champion of the world, simply the best, Katie Taylor. Hiding out of the blue corner from Liverpool, England, here is the five-time champion at 64 kilograms, a two-time world title challenger, introducing Natasha Jonas. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. Right. Todd, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here at this venue. It's going to be something special. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. And there's the bell for round one. And she caught her with a left hook. She can't miss with that jab. Keeping their gloves up. And wisely here, they're going to clinch and hold on to stop this offensive onslaught. Perhaps the hottest ticket in town for this fight tonight. Situations like this target will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the... <laughs> Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Sometimes clinching is effective. You'd like to see more jabs. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Here we go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? No 
rest for the weary. I'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. She's going to survive the round, but just barely. And the round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. You're absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? On to the third. Misses. And a good decision here to hold on. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Here and it's been a good round for her for sure. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so so easy. to the fourth round. They scored that left hand. That jab got her.
This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. And she lands a big right hand. She hit her clean with that right hook. And you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter... And this GB is now in trouble. One punch away from getting the momentum back. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Not much to write home about in that round, huh, Johnny? I know those rounds, and you know what? We'll get excited. We want it straight away, but these fighters know what plan they've got to work to. And there's the bell for round five. She scores with that right. Defense failed them. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Right hook is scoring. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What could they change? They could... And this GB is now in trouble. A lot of big punches, and Jonas can't take it anymore. So time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night, night.